rise of the robots, and this is a story that's never ending, heavily treated in science fiction platforms uh, for all, for, in all frontiers, servant robots, military robots, sex robots, and maybe that's inevitable given the, the direction technology and computing and artificial intelligence is going. With regard to how much we might use a robot in war such that you don't feel the pain, you don't bleed anymore because a machine is fighting for you, that, there, that's been treated also. There's an episode of Star Trek. We're in its 50th anniversary this year. An episode of Star Trek where countries were fighting each other by computer and it would decide, okay, we won this battle and we killed 100 of you, so now send 100 of you to this extermination chamber. And that would be the consequence of the war fought by the computers. And that's, and that's just kind of weird. Where is the blood? Where is the pain? Where is the suffering? So that you know not to do that again the next time. And maybe the real solution here is not whether we ever have robots in the service of war. Maybe we will mature sufficiently as a species so that any conversation about war would be purely historical. Then we don't have to talk about military robots. Maybe that's the future.